Hello, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 25 of this video series. Now in this tutorial, I am just going to discuss about how can you refresh your entity framework after adding a new table into your database. Okay, so before proceeding, please watch part 24 in order to understand how can you split your page into several components. Okay, now let's move to the Visual Studio. So here in the previous tutorial, I have just created this example and here I have just divided my page into two parts that is 3 is to 9 ratio and I have used uh, this call MD class. Okay, so let's have the view of it. So here you can see this part covers the call MD 3 3 section and this part covers the call MD 9 section. Okay, now let's move to the database. So here you can see in my MVC tutorial database, I have just created this uh, three tables earlier that is department table, employee table and site table. Now let's move to the uh, Visual Studio and just open your EDMX file Then you can see my all three tables has already been added here. Okay, now I want to refresh my entity after adding a table. Okay, so let's add one more table. So let's give a name user ID and let's make it int and set primary key and if you want to make it auto incremented then you can choose this identity specification as yes okay let's choose this okay so, so select this table and just expand this and just make it yes okay so now this time it will be auto automatically incremented by one okay now give other name user name and let's make it n var care 50 or you can take it var care okay now the second field is email id email id and also n var care 50 and then password Now in fair care again also make it 50 and uh, let's add one more field that is address and also make it anywhere care like let's make it 100 or 150 okay now save this table now name it site user okay now just run it and if you s refresh this then you can find site user is already added and now you can just expand it so your table is ready now let's add into your entity so just right click on this and choose this option update model from database and this time you will get uh, one table option that is uh, you have just recently added this site user just check and finish okay and now press control s so you you need to save it after adding this so here you can see your site user is already uh, is uh, is added here and it doesn't have anything any dependency on other table okay now let's check on your controller whether it is accessible or not so here I have just defined my uh, entity context so just put DB dot and your table name site user so it is accessible okay so in this way you can refresh your entity so suppose in future if you modify employee table suppose uh, I have just uh, I just want to add one more column here and just want to refresh my entity okay so right why uh, you can with this way you can also refresh your table okay just just choose this refresh tab and extend your table so you will you will see all your table here and just if you want to refresh this site user then do just check it and finish and don't forget to save your EDMX file 
okay so that's all about refreshing your entity after adding a table or updating a table okay so I am done here and uh, if you like my video then give us a thumbs up and if you have any query then do comment uh, please share my video among your friend and thank you very much for watching have a great day